Hi everyone, this is Ruhi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Mars Kajals. These are newly launched, like these shades are newly launched. The Velo Black Kajal from this collection is my absolute favorite. It's my Red or Die Kajal. I cannot do without that. It's the blackest black Kajal ever. I have the video uploaded in my shots as well. If you want, you can go check it out. It is the blackest coal I have ever tried. Does not smudge, does not budge. So I am in love with that collection. So when Mars launched three more shades I had to grab them I have been using all these three shades for quite a while I have been using them every day alternate uh, shades and I have a lot of things to tell you about all of these so without any further ado let's get started so first things first these retail for 2.99 rupees for 1.4 grams of product and uh, it comes in a packaging something like this and inside that they have the kajal they have a lot of things printed at the back like the ingredients, the import details, the manufacturing details, the batch code, manufacturing and expiry date 2022, manufacturing and expiry date is 2025. So the shelf life of this product is 3 years. You can easily finish this within 3 years. You have to push this up to see the kajal and this is how it is. I have used this one about eight to ten times and i have just sharpened it one it also comes with a sharpener in case you don't have or you have a sharpener that does not fit this pencil so you can also carry this with this box and put it in your bag or vanity and move along but again it's it'll take a lot of space so i would recommend throw this out about the inner packaging this is a simple thin pencil it says mars golden um, embossed on top of it and won't smudge won't budge kajal that is the collection name and that is it there is nothing else mentioned here the texture of these product is buttery smooth and it is extremely pigmented you will see that in the swatches about the fragrance added in these kajals no we don't have any fragrance some of the kajals do add fragrance in some brands as Theme. this one does not have it these coals are very very pigmented as i said and with two swipes it will give you the required pigmentation that you need that will be enough uh, for the color to pop up they look very very bright and very very bold and it looks really stunning they are pretty smudge proof not completely maybe if you rub them it will come off little little uh, but the pigmentation would stay uh, they are not very transfer proof even on my oily eyelids that they do last for a very long time it will smudge a little after four to five hours if it is very humid and it is very hot and my eyelids have gone crazy oily uh, then it will stick on the crease a bit but the pigmentation would not fade away that easy that is just for the eyelids however on the lower water line it lasts the entire day it is not going to come off or fade away that easy maybe it will fade away eventually but then you can still see the color on your water line if you are applying the these uh, kajals on your eyelids and you think you also have oily eyelid what I do you could also try that you could take a contour powder neutral contour powder and apply it on your eyelids so this one does not fade or does not uh, stick on your crease these are going to last on your uh, lower lash line for 10 plus hours even if I sleep with this kajal on the next morning when I wake up the color is still there not the brightest version like the way you can see right now the green is popping up on my lower lash line and the brown is on my eyelids it's really uh, bright and bold right now maybe it will not be that bright and bold but you can still see that my eyes look green and the brown on my eyelids or on my lash line is still there these will not burn your eyes or it will not water your eyes i also have a issue with watery eyes and some coals burn my eyes i'm very particular about picking my kajal if you want to remove the entire coal and reapply it again i would always suggest please use johnson baby wipes they do not burn your eyes and it will help remove the kajal properly you can even use that wipe and rub your eyes uh, inside and out you can keep the wipes inside and rub it a little bit so it comes off it will come off honestly with johnson baby wipes and to remove the kajal from my eyelids or inside my eyes particularly i always use johnson baby wipes because my slow water burns your eyes a lot and i just can't take it so I always use Johnson baby wipes to remove kajal. You could use the same. And it is readily available in any medical shop, in any supermarket. Like literally you can get it from anywhere. Now let's see the swatches of these kajals.
my favorite shade out of these three is forest chase which i have used at least 20 30 times already in two weeks i have been in love with this shade it, this is beautiful green casual pops your eye it looks really stunning and someone can actually spot you from a distance and will know that you have something beautiful in your eyes green casuals are my favorite i use them religiously and a lot i use them a lot honestly so i would highly recommend if you want one shade please grab this if you're a brown kajal lover please grab this one this is stunning this is gorgeous and these will not smudge or come off from your waterline that easy if you ask me do i recommend these kajals absolutely freaking lutely yes i'm in love with mars products and their kajals are my personal favorite i love them way too much because they do not come off that easy do not smudge and will not give me dark under eyes after applications so yeah so that was all about my short little review on mars won't smudge won't budge kajal i hope you liked it if you did please give my video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such content i'll be seeing you soon in my next video until then you all take care i love you all bye